Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Timber Riley from Arkansas Tech University, a volleyball player and a softball player for the Golden Suns. And Timber, I just want to talk about your weekend last weekend. You had a pretty intense Saturday and I know it's not probably not the first time that you've had a, a, a day like you had this past weekend, but let's just start off as you uh, you opened your day in Arkadelphia taking on Henderson State as a part of the softball team. There was a doubleheader that day, and you got to play in, in game one of the doubleheader, and not a bad day on top of that. Two for four, you had a run scored. You also had the game-winning RBI single. So let's just open there and talk about your softball day. Yeah, so... Pretty much at softball the whole time, I I knew like I'm I'm gonna leave after this game, and it was very important to like leave at a decent time to make it to the volleyball game. And so the whole time I'm like, all right, we got we gotta do good, we gotta kill them, we gotta get ahead. <laughs> and so like so I could have enough time to get to volleyball. And so the whole team was on board. The, our, the softball team was so amazing. We're like, all right, we gotta do this. We're we were we're we we're guns blazing. We we're coming for them. We we're ready to win. And uh, honestly, like, I didn't really think about like, hey, like, gotta like volleyball soon until like the very end of it. I was full softball all the way. It was just, it was a good day to play softball too. Well, it sounds like it. And again, you come away with the game-winning RBI. That's that's not a bad day there. Eight to six as the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns defeated Henderson State in game one of a four-game series, which, by the way, the Golden Suns swept as well. So uh, to just even give it away a little bit more, your day was not finished with softball because, as you mentioned, you had a volleyball match to take part in, too, and you had to get on the road to do it. So, as, I'm, you know, as soon as you get through, you know, rounding the third and coming home and celebrate a little bit, then you get in the car and drive to Searcy. Was that what it was like? Yeah, so literally as soon as the last out was done, I was in left field and I'm running into the dugout and I look at my mom and I'm like, Mom, get to the car. And my teammate Brooke <laughs> is like, Kim, get to the car. And Coach Rick's when he's like, Timber, go change, go change, go change. And so they're all meeting up doing our after game talk. And I'm in the dugout and in, in the bathroom in there changing real quick. And by the time they're done meeting, I'm done changing, and my teammates are making me a snack to take on the road. And pretty much, I just grabbed my snack, changed, and got out of there as fast as I could. I like that your team was all on board for for something like that. That's that's really cool. So you wear number twelve on the softball field, and you also wear number twelve on the volleyball court too. So you're going up to the Great American Conference. The, the, the GAC tournament as volleyball is in the spring here in 2021. Welcome to the COVID era, at least for a little while longer. And you're heading up there to take on Oklahoma Baptist, get onto the court. And, and uh, I was actually at Searcy uh, calling that game. And, and I remember seeing you come in and, you know, just kind of orienting yourself just a little bit to get out there and warm up and be ready to play in that match. Which, by the way, you had a pretty good match as well, taking on Oklahoma Baptist. You led your team in kills, had eight kills on the day, nearly a double-double with 10 digs on top of that and four blocks too. So talk about playing volleyball later. Yeah, so coming into that volleyball game, honestly, um, the coaches and I didn't even plan for me to have enough time to warm up for the game. <laughs> and uh, um, whenever the coaches and I met before this whole weekend, they, they had like a lot of faith that like, they don't understand how I'm like an athlete who can just jump into something. They So they weren't worried about me not warming up at all. Just the fact of me being there is like all that mattered. No expectation of playing at all. Like just being there for my team in that important game. And so I showed up with like 25 minutes in warmups and I was, I was pretty frantic, like just trying to hurry, do everything and get ready. And my warm up was not very solid, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. Like, wasn't even supposed to warm up. Like, and then in between, like, whenever we're off the court and on the court, my volleyball teammates, amazing, they come up to me and they're like, Timber, there's a side gym. Like, we can go warm up your passing real quick. Oh my gosh, literally melted my heart. I'm like, I love you guys. Let's go. Like, let's go to the side gym. So we warmed up my passing and they calmed me down. It ended up just, just being a good match and like good game, hard fought. 
Well, and you know what? It really, it really was a good match as, as you took on Oklahoma Baptist. Now you all fell in four sets to OBU in the GAC semifinal. And, you know, just a, a side note on that Oklahoma Baptist, by the way, is, has uh, finished its season and is currently ranked number one in the country in division two. So not bad that you took OBU to four sets in that semifinal. I, Timber, I know you're not the first athlete to have a Deion Sanders like day where you're playing one sport over here and traveling and playing another sport over here. Uh, what goes into competing in two sports like that? So a lot of it, it comes from the help of my coaches and my teammates. Like I would not have been able to make any of this happen without them. Like the support I was, I was very worried about the support from my teammates on both team, which I should not have been because they were the most supportive just beyond sport. It was everything I needed coaches same way. Like they were all in for me making both games and making both games is genuinely what I wanted to do. Like I played two sports in college because I don't, I live for days like that Saturday. And, uh, it was just, I'm sorry. I forgot the question. <laughs> well, I mean, what's it, what's it like competing in two sports? Okay. So a lot of people could say it's like stressful. Like you have to, compete against two sets of groups you have to show out for two sets of coaches but i just see it as i just have an extra like support system so whenever i go to volleyball it's completely different as softball i get to take a break from softball i get to just do my thing same at softball break from volleyball just do my thing and i just get to live the dream of like my little girl dreams like I get to I get to do both. I didn't have to choose. I it's just I don't know. It's very breathtaking, and I'm very lucky that Arkansas Tech allowed me to play both. Well, I I am glad for you, and it sounds like it's something that's really enjoyable, and it's, and it's nice that you didn't have to choose. You're able to do this. We're here on the summit today on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you please do subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate that. As we're speaking with Timber Riley, a sophomore from Arkansas Tech, and a uh, star on the volleyball court, star on the softball diamond as well as a freshman, a first-team All-American softball player too. So, Timber, ordinarily, you know, you wouldn't have to think about this because volleyball is generally in the fall and softball is generally in the spring, and then the two don't have to overlap uh, except maybe in a little off-season workout or, or something. So when it started looking like, hey, we're going to get a volleyball schedule after all, oh, wait. Uh, that's going to be in the spring this year. What were your thoughts? Yeah, so I was I was very panicked, and I was freaking out a lot about it. But my coaches, they calmed me down, and we just all – we decided that, like, we're going to take it day by day. And uh, with softball being able to compete for, like, a national title and regionals and just pass the conference tournament, we kind of decided, like, if they do conflict, like – softball is going to come first because it's a softball's regular season. We could compete for nationals, like a national title. And we definitely were not trying to put volleyball in the back burner at all. But like I made every volleyball match I could whenever softball wasn't happening. And it was just something we decided from the beginning. Like we didn't want to decide like, Oh, it looks like a game in April matches up. Like, we have to choose right now. Well, like, softball gets rain outs. So, like, that's why we just tried to relax about it and just see what happens as the days go on. And it all ended up working out, like, working out great. The coaches were great about it. They made it very easy. And, like, I never felt pressured to choose one sport over the other. You know, and even to clarify for some people who, who don't know, the NCAA probably helped you a little bit in that decision because uh, they said long before the season started there wasn't going to be a national championship uh, sponsored by the NCAA anyway in, in volleyball and Division two. So I, I know, like I said, you know, it makes it a little bit easier in that. Well, Timber, I won't get you in trouble, or at least I'm not going to try to get you in trouble with either Coach McSweeney or Coach Dukic and say, which one do you like more? So I won't ask that question. <laughs> But I, I would say, what would you say then to, you know, other athletes that may want to do this someday and may want to try to play more than one sport on, on the collegiate level? Yeah, so don't choose. Don't choose a sport. Don't sit there and think, man, like I have to go to college just for one sport. You don't. 
you can live your dream if you really work for it and find a school that will support you like Arkansas Tech supports me and coaches that will support you like my coaches support you it can happen and it is definitely very tiring on your body and mentally but it's so worth it at the end and a lot of people have questioned my ability to continue all four years playing both but it's, it's just truly what I want to do. And if it's truly something someone else wants to do, like y'all can make it happen. That sounds cool. Well, that's encouraging. And I always like those things too. The, the encouraging remarks there is we get to hear from Timber Riley, the two sport athlete from Arkansas tech university who had a, a pretty intense Saturday, but uh, you know, one, one for two on the day, at least victories. And you are a big part of both of those teams on the softball diamond and also on the volleyball court as well. Timber, thank you so much for stopping by here on the summit and visiting with us about your weekend. Thank you so much.